Welcome every day. Today we're going to do something a bit different. Since there's been a lot of interest in Pokemon Infinite Fusion lately, I'm going to do a couple of videos on how to get and install and make it up and running. My first video is how to get it working on PC like I have it going here. I have already started. And we have oops, I can buttons. Hey, Retata. Well before fusion. <laughs> Before we got the floral light, we need two to go. Oh, come on. That fusion. Go to Pokemon community. Throw all the way down. Get the lights down there. And you want to, yeah. You want to download the 5.111 full version. Click on it. It will start downloading. I've already got it. And if you're playing on mobile, you want to go to older version and download the 5.036 version. Okay, so once that's all downloaded, once all that's downloaded, then you'll need to go to your download folder and X. Have a zip file here. You want to extract it. And then you'll have this folder here. I will click Infinite Fusion and your game will be up and running. It will take a little bit to load as and extract because there is a, a lot of files that you have to download. Yeah, going now. They're all good to go, but then also you go to there. Also, if you go to their Discord page, you can download another sprite pack. So on their Discord page, download sprite pack. Download that. Download folder. Find this. Of my file. Find your sprite pack. Extract it. Extract it. Then you have these files. All you want to do is copy them into your graphics folder. Next time you load the game up, all asks, "Hey, there's new sprites. Do you want to overwrite?" Yes, it will take a few minutes, depending on your computer. And once that's done, we'll have a glorious game, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. The only way I'll leave, we will be leaving links down, down for everything in the comments below. Well, you hope you'll enjoy it, and... Catch you on the next one. Bye.